The seven angels who are worse than demons. All demons were once angels, but they sinned against God and were cast out of heaven. That's why they are often called fallen angels. The most famous of them is Lucifer. His name means morning star and is associated with Venus. In Christian theology, Lucifer was an angel of God, but then he developed feelings of envy and greed. Lucifer was the first fallen angel. He became the devil, ruler of the kingdom of hell. Lucifer was the one who brought sin to earth. These demons are described in an ancient Hebrew text. It's called the Book of Enoch. The most famous chapter is the Book of the Watchers. Enoch describes the Watchers as fallen angels. They were sent to earth to watch over humans, but God punished them after they sinned. Here are some more terrifying characters. 1. Samyaza. Samyaza was the leader of the Watchers. He led his angelic brethren to seduce human women. This lustful union gave rise to a race of giant hybrids. They were known as the Nephilim. 2. Asbil. Asbil is the angel of ruin. His name means deserter from God. He led humanity astray when he abandoned his post as a watcher. It was Asbil who made angels fall in love with women. 3. Tamil. Tamil, also called Kastea, was a teacher of astronomy. He taught mankind about demons and spirits. Tamil showed humans how to kill unborn babies. 4. Azazel. Azazel was one of the leaders of the rebellious angels. He taught men the art of warfare and women the art of deception. Azazel also revealed the secrets of witchcraft. God commanded Raphael to chain Azazel to jagged rocks. Azazel abides in eternal darkness until the day of judgment. 5. Panimu. In the book of Enoch, Panimu is the cure of stupidity. He gave mankind the written language, but men were not ready to use all this knowledge. Writing led to widespread discord and destruction. 6. Abaddon. Abaddon was cast out of heaven for his destructive character. He is known as the Archangel of the Abyss. Abaddon is prominent in some apocryphal texts. After the last judgment, he will take the souls to the Valley of Josephat. So he actually acts as God's right-hand man. During the apocalypse, in the book of Job, Abaddon is described as a hellish abyss. Abaddon rules over a swarm of locusts. The giant swarm will arrive during the final days. Abaddon's locusts will bite and sting non-believers. The locusts resemble horses with crowned human faces. They have women's hair, lion's teeth, wings, iron breastplates, and scorpion tails. 7. Nephilim The Nephilim are mentioned in the book of Genesis. They were the offspring of the sons of God and the daughters of men. According to Enoch, the Nephilim were 4,500 feet tall. They consumed everything humans could offer them, and when men could no longer sustain them, the giants turned against them and devoured mankind, and they began to sin against birds and beasts and reptiles and fish, and to devour one another's flesh and drink the blood. This angered God, who sent the great flood to stop it. This was humanity's first downfall.